In this video, we're going to take a look at why this null pointer exception occurs when we try to create this Boolean on line 19. We're going to look at how the dot equals method works and one way that we can get around this null pointer exception after we understand how the dot equals method works. So I've created this class called person, which has a single variable called name, which is a string. There's then a getter and a setter for that person class. And in the application class down below, I've created a new person and I have this Boolean called isNameAndy. And the way this Boolean works is by calling the getName method on our person, which is created, and then calling the dot equals method on that string. So the get name method will return a string object to us and this object will have its own implementation of the dot equals method. So the purpose of the equals method is to evaluate to the comparison of values in the object. So what that means is that each object will have its own implementation of the equals method. It will then accept an argument which is then used to compare the two objects to each other. So if I run this application, we can see that we have a null pointer exception. And the reason is because in our person, we haven't actually set the name. So our string object is currently null. If I navigate to the string class and search for the equals method, we can see that the string class has its own implementation on how it equates two objects. So what we're trying to do is call this equals method on an object that doesn't actually exist. And that's because the string name within our person instance doesn't actually exist. So that is why we receive that null pointer exception. Now that we understand why we're receiving a null pointer exception, you may want to ask yourself, how do we restructure this Boolean is name Andy so that we either receive true or false and avoid the possibility of a null pointer exception. So one way we can do this is by defining a new string that we can compare the person's name to. So I have a string here called Andy. And now that we've defined the string within the application, we can call the dot equals method on it because this string actually exists. So what I can do is change the Boolean down below to andy.equals and then I can do a.getName. So what will happen here is that this string that actually exists will call the dot equals method on it. It will pass in an object and in our case it will be a.getName which will be null and because the string of andy does not equal null we will receive the boolean of false. We will not have a null pointer exception because when we're calling the dot equals method, we're calling it from an object that does actually exist. And so I'm going to run this application and we can expect the value of false. And now if I were to set the person's name to Andy, we would now expect the boolean to be true. And that summarizes this video on how the dot equals method is called and how we can avoid a null pointer exception when comparing two objects.